Today, I want to show you how with Apple Keynote and your stylus or Apple Pencil, you can create hand animated images like these, even if the shape or image you import into Keynote won't convert into an image where you can do the animation or build automatically, there's a way you can do it manually. Let me show you how. So here I am in Keynote on my iPad. I want to add a thought bubble. I type in thought, I get a brain. I type in bubble, I get a quote bubble. For the noun project on my iPad, and in the top here, we will type in thought bubble. So I found this thought bubble that I really like. I know that I'm going to be putting it on a chalkboard background. So I'm going to go over here and help myself out by changing the icon to white. And then I'll tap like I did before, download SVG and click download. Then we'll return over to Keynote. In Keynote, I'll come to the top of the screen, tap on this icon, come down, insert from, bring the image on, come over to the top right side and click on format. Bring the opacity of that image down to 37%. You can still see it, but it's faded enough to know it's not what you're looking for. And then the top, we'll tap on Arrange, and we'll choose to lock it. That way it stays in place. Here's the fun begins. You get out your stylus. For me, I'll be using my Apple Pencil today. Tap on the screen. And now these options show up at the bottom of your screen. You have like a marker, pen tool, your pencil, this crayon that also happens to look like chalk, a fill tool, an eraser, and a selection tool. I'll tap on that crayon. I'll set it for as large as it will go. And white isn't a color you have normally in there. So what I've done over here is tapped on the custom color option and gone up and chosen white. So now I just come in here and I will draw that image by tracing it. I'll trace the bottom the middle, then I'll trace the main image. It will not be an exact replica, but it helps me get where I'm going. Now when I'm done with all that, in the top left corner here, I'll select done. Now we have this whole image selected here, so come over here to the right to our three dots and choose animate. You also can see I have that shortcut in the top of my screen. We'll use this for now. And if we come to the bottom for build in, we can choose line draw. And now it basically redraws on screen what I drew. You can adjust the speed to all that. Overall, that shows you what I wanted to do. So we'll click done. And now on here, we will move this out of the way, tap on that image, come over here to format. We'll unlock it come back to our image again, tap on it, choose delete. Close out this format window. Now we can tap on our drawing and recenter it using those guides to where it's vertically and horizontally centered. And we have our drawing. When I would do this, what I would do is from the noun project include just a link in the presenter notes of who that original image was from in case anybody asked or if I was sharing this in a video that would be included in the description so I could give credit to who originally did it. It's a simple version. There's actually more complex things you can do with this using photos. I've searched for house on here and I found this image in the center that I like. So I'll tap on it, come up here and choose download. I'll allow that. And then I'll copy this. It actually gives you the attribution information. I'll copy that and include that here in Keynote. First thing we have to do is come over to the bottom and add a new slide. We'll add a blank one. We'll come up here in the top left corner, tap on this icon and choose show presenter notes. We'll come down here and tap on the presenter notes and we'll come to our keyboard in the bottom here and tap on paste. And now it's included all this information that's related to the source of where we got our image from. Now let's go back and work on that image. Up to the top, insert from, there's that house, click open. Now the house is there on our screen. To help us give more room to work, we're gonna hide those presenter notes. A lot more to work with. We're gonna come over here in the top right to format. Similar to what we did before, we'll bring this opacity down. Then we'll go to arrange and lock. We'll bring out our Apple Pencil. And this time, just to change it up a little bit at the bottom here, we'll still tap on that crayon. I like that look on here, but we'll choose the yellow color. And then we'll simply trace this shape. We have the house with the roof. We have the main base of the house here. There's a little chimney piece up top. This top window that's kind of peeking out here. The left window. The right window that's interrupted by that post. The door. I have a little bush here. Some grass along the side. A step, a little plant. The post. We have the sidewalk coming out. Just a quick little drawing off of a photo. And then we'll come to the top left corner and tap done. Now I have our drawing. We can actually tap on that photo, come back over here, click the paintbrush icon, and come all the way down to unlock. Then we can tap on that image and choose 
delete. Now we can tap on our drawing, come up to that shortcut we have in our toolbar or your three dots for animate, come down to the bottom and choose line draw. It's a very quick sketch of a house. For this one, I probably would tap on the screen here, then tap on line draw, make the duration more like 13 seconds. We'll play that. Maybe it's not talking about owning your first home or talking about a place I grew up. I would allow this image to be drawn on the screen while I'm talking and it captures the imagination. It's a simple chalkboard icon created from a photo. We're all done with the animation, so we'll click done. And there we go, we have a simple line drawing made from a photo. But what if we added to add a little bit more to it and use something different than the chalkboard look? Well, then we would do this coffee cup. We're back in Unsplash, we'll come to the top here. I'm gonna search for a latte. Tends to have some fun artwork with it. Scroll down, see what I can find. This one, the center here, I like this one. Tap on that, come up here and we'll download that image. Allow the download. Again, copy that attribution information so I can give credit to that person if I use it in a video or publicly want to share that. We'll go back into Keynote, come to the bottom left corner and create a new blank slide. Come to the top again, media, insert from, do that recent file, bring in our coffee cup image and the same thing we did before. We'll come over here to format, go to opacity and just type in 37, done. That will set the opacity to 37%, arrange and lock. Now the image is locked in place. We'll zoom in so we can see this nice and clearly. Grab our Apple Pencil. And now this time from the bottom, we're going to choose this pen in the far left. Still going to make it our big size just to start with at least. We will choose a custom color of white. We'll trace the top rim of the cup and then we will trace the outside by coming down here and choosing black. We'll then trace the outside of the cup. And then the handle. Now we've got some filling in to do. So at the bottom of our screen, we have this tool. It looks like a tube of paint and it fills in. So come over here. This is where we get to use a couple different things together. We'll use this eyedropper tool. And even though it's a little bit faded, we'll choose this brown and then we can draw with that then we have the top of our latte. We can come back down to the bottom, tap and choose white. And now we're gonna make an attempt at our latte art. It'd really help if we could see underneath. So we come to the top left and choose done. We can come over here while this drawing is selected. We can change the opacity of what we just drew by clicking on drawing and then dragging our opacity down. Again, probably that 37 point is a pretty good mark. We'll come back over and tap with our Apple Pencil. And if we have this tube selected with white and come back up here, we can now trace our latte art. And while we're in here, we can do the same thing with the cup itself. We'll come to the bottom. Let's say instead of this black, we want to give it a different color. We'll tap on our custom color here. I want to do a nice dark purple. Tap off of there. Now we'll trace the main shape of the mug with that same fill tool that now is in a dark purple. Be sure to end where you begin and it will fill that in. Then I'll come back here to the bottom, tap on that and just go a shade darker for the handle. And then this is a little bit tricky because the handle has that loop in the middle. We're actually going to trace half of it. So we'll start at the top of the handle, come down along the edge, the bottom, fill this up, and we'll come over, almost making like a lowercase r. Now we'll start with the inside of the handle, trace down, finish it up, come to the top left, click done. And you remember to come over here to our opacity for our drawing, bring that back up to 100%, tap on our image, come over here to unlock, tap on our image and delete. And now if we tap anywhere on the screen and drag, we can select that whole image. We can do animate, come to the bottom, add build in, line draw, and watch the preview as it creates our latte art mug. Pretty simple, top and click done. If you're obviously more artistic, you could do a better job with your mug than I did here. That was just a rough example using a different kind of art tool and the fill tool with a photo. Now last but not least, I wanna show you one that I did with a bird, a very colorful kingfisher bird, and over time use several different tools to create a more elaborate image if you want to take your time. Then like a lot of the dry erase videos you've seen, you can speed it up to play it faster for your audience. Here I have the image on my iPad that I'd inserted. Then I'll show you the slide where I'd colored over it. And then I removed the background image. I added the animation. And now when I present on screen comes this drawing with a lot of detail from the image that I got from Unsplash that adds to my presentation with a hand-drawn tracing of a photo that I found.
So now you've seen a variety of ways where you can, no matter what the icon, shape, or image is, create a hand-drawn image, depending on how much time you want to put into it, into your presentation using Keynote on your iPad and your Apple Pencil or Stylus. If you found this helpful, if this opened up opportunities for you, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, the best thing you can do is like it. Above that would be to share it with somebody else who may not know about these resources. And like always, if you want to know when these videos come out and see more content, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.